Hello and welcome back to the Patient First Podcast. I'm your host, Dr. Brian Laskin. And of course, I'm looking to help increase the influence of today's engaged dentist. And let's let's get into it. Let's discuss the economy today. I'm, I've heard some just shocking statistics that I could not ignore. Uh, and the most shocking of all the statistics is that one in three of the physical bills that we use as money in the United States has been printed since the pandemic began. 33% of our money that we use, the cash that we use, has been printed since the pandemic. And wow, shocker, shocker, there's inflation coming our way, right? Now, I'm not here to argue, I, frankly, I am not an economist. I do not know the value of how, you know, how much that helped us get avoid a recession during the pandemic and all of that. But what I do know, what I do know is that that is going to affect dentistry. And I want to talk about it today. So let's talk about it a little bit. We have record inflation coming our way. Uh, and we, we, we all know that. In fact, it's here now. Interest rates are going up. And I keep hammering on something on this podcast lately because I feel it's so important and I really want people to take note. We have a lot of negative influences going on to our profitability in our practices today. Wage inflation, the cost of delivering care, meaning the supplies, the equipment, rent, every expense we have is skyrocketing while insurance reimbursements and our patients' buying power is getting hammered. So insurances are actually paying less than they did pre-pandemic, which just blows my mind. I mean, it's a total classic. Like, how do you know dental insurance companies are bad for the industry when they start taking money they don't even stop taking money when people can't go into the dentist. All the costs are going up. They're raising their rates, and they still cut our reimbursements. Wow. Wow. Uh, and also, when inflation goes up, what that means is that your patient has less money to pay for your services. And coming off of a time when there was literally money just being shipped to their mailbox. So what does that mean for dentistry? How does it affect us? Well, the short answer is massively. And what I believe that means is that our practices need to adjust. I feel like it's a fantastic time to be a dentist. If you are an engaged dentist, I think it's, there's no better time in history to be a dentist. However, if you sit on the sidelines and pretend like nothing's going on and try do, to do nothing, just do what you did yesterday, tomorrow, I believe that you are going to be quite possibly crushed by the negative influences that are coming our way. So now is not the time to sit on the sidelines and just wish that things will get better. Even if you are an engaged dentist, if you're somebody that actively works on your practice, I believe it's time to set aside some separate time to take reflection, responsibility, and ownership of your practice. Even if you don't own the practice that you're in, you do have, you're, you're, you are a dentist or you are a dental team member, you have leadership capabilities within your practice it's time to take a look and see how can we all collectively affect our work environment to be more effective. There are certain inflection points in anybody's career. Some you create yourself, whether you buy a practice or you, you move to a new town, but there's also inflection points that you cannot control. And I think we are at one right now. You can probably feel it, right? Uh, we're coming off of a pandemic, which was one per inflection point, but the world is shifting directly in response to what we just came out of. And part of that is the economy, which has been obviously held together with <laughs> bubble gum, shoestrings, and duct tape. And we, there is a moment in time right now where things are rapidly shifting. When the Fed just comes out and says, hey, we're going to be raising interest rates much faster than what we thought was going to happen, that affects our businesses, that affects our profitability. And in dentistry, more than in a lot of different careers, that directly affects what we do uh, and how we get compensated if we don't take control. So if the government's printing cash, we don't really have control over that, or most of us don't. If there's a war on the other side of the world, or if there's a war here, we don't actually have control of that. Global warming, you know, all of the things that are going on in the world, we can't control that. But we can control if we adjust to what's going on externally, because some of these factors do affect our careers and, uh, and our lives. I mean, I'm obviously talking about 
uh, your your life within your practice and your profitability because I think that's the key component. I think that you know it's common for when when things are going on outside of our control, do nothing because we feel like if we do do something, it's going to maybe be more negative than maybe we'll make a wrong choice, right? But I believe that it's far, far, far more common to make the mistake of not doing anything by sitting on the sidelines and kind of waiting for things to get better or things to change than making a decision that is worse. So what do we need to focus on today? What, what If I had globally for all of the industry to take a look at, what do I think would be most effective to look at specifically when we're talking about the economic climate that we are in today? We're talking about the economics because I think they are going to be shifting greatly in dentistry, and that is profitability. So if you haven't focused on profitability in your practice, which a lot of practices don't, because frankly, it's way too hard. It's a problem I'm solving with uh, our company Abundance. Uh, if, you, if you don't know about it, go to Abundance, A-B-U-N, D-E-N-T-S, Abundance, get it? Uh, but but it's, we actually show you your profitability just in, in a quick snapshot. You can just look in and see every day how profitable was I. But because a lot of people don't know the expense size, you can see the production in your practice management software, but many times people don't connect that with their bank or their accounting data, uh, which we do in abundance. But I think, but I think you can, you know, you can do it on your own. Just take your expenses, take your production or your collections, more appropriately, or your collections and your expenses, and do the math, because profit is is collections minus expenses. But it's incredibly important today because the expenses are going up a lot and the reimbursements are going down. So look at it closely. Do the work to look at how profitable you are and more specifically, look at each procedure that you do and see how profitable are you doing the things that you do. There are certain procedures that are probably not profitable and you can shift to do things a different way. So action that I request you take today is to look to see where you are today because you can change things tomorrow so that you can be more profitable and in fact come out the other side of this better than before because there are always moments in time like this where things maybe are more difficult and what that tends to do it tends to make the strong stronger and the weak get selected out. If you look at the restaurant industry through the pandemic, and we were all worried about every single restaurant, right? Well, a lot did go away. A lot just shut their doors. They didn't even want to deal with it. They, that's happening with some practices right now, just shutting their doors. But now, after the pandemic, which frankly, there's foot traffic that's lighter than there was obviously during the pandemic, uh, but or pre-pandemic, excuse me, but the, the practice, the, the, the restaurants that are open now are far more profitable than restaurants were pre-pandemic. Why? I talked about it on a podcast relatively recently. They've increased their prices, they've decreased their staff, or they've reduced their expenses. And so the restaurants that are profitable today, or that are open today, are far, far more than 10% more profitable than they were pre-pandemic because they've looked, they've changed. They do more takeout, they do more delivery, they have less people, they've, they've focused on how to make themselves more profitable because they felt like they were gonna circle in the drain. So they made the shifts that, that they needed to make and now they are actually stronger than ever before. And I believe we can do the same thing in our practices. I don't think it's as extreme as the restaurant industry through the pandemic, obviously, but I do think it's more subtle. It's like the frog that's sitting in, in, in hot water and you turn it up, a lot of practices, I don't think they realize that they are that frog and the temperature is getting hotter every day and they don't even feel it. So I think now is the time to focus on your profitability. So strongly, in fact, that I've put together a free webinar. Uh, just if you wanna sign up for the webinar, go to upgradedental.com slash webinar. This free webinar is all about how you can increase your profitability easily, not by working more. I think it's important that to recognize that people in dentistry are overworked, overwhelmed already. So what, what we're focusing on is not working more, but how to shift your perspective, how to take a step back, shift your mindset to allow you and your team to be more profitable. So to sign up, Go to UpgradeDental.com. It's, again, it's free. It is a limited time event, so this will not be going on uh, indefinitely. It's, it's, obviously, it's a webinar, so it is a limited time. 
and we have a limited number of seats that we have available. So make sure to go to UpgradeDental.com slash webinar and sign up today. And I look forward to seeing you at the webinar. And of course, next week, when we talk more about how to increase the influence of today's engaged dentists on the Patient First Podcast. Thank you very much. See you next week.